Hey, Dana. Um, hey, buddy. Congratulations. It was a good card tonight. Uh, first of all, you know, you have so many good fighters stacked up in one division. This was kind of a clever gimmick to have all the heavyweights fight on one card. I wonder what you think of sometime down in the future doing it with lightweights or some other division, you know, just putting five fights and having them all fight on the same card. Things like don't always go my way. You know, uh, <laughs> you don't always... Uh, <laughs> the main event wasn't originally the main event. You never know what's going to happen. So, you, you know... It would be fun to say that we could do a heavyweight card, once in a while lightweight, middleweight, whatever, but it doesn't always work out that way. This, this thing just kind of happened. And what was your reaction? I mean, it seemed like you, know, you had a ton of finishes tonight. I mean, a lot of good performances. I mean, your last three fights, you know, I mean, the whole main card was really good, but I mean, the last three fights were really conclusive. I mean, do you look at this and say that it, you know, kind of gave you a shot in the arm? It was great. It was a great night. Um, you know, all the fights were great. Well, almost all the fights were great. And uh, on paper, this card looked awesome, and it lived up to lived up to the hype. And I know you don't like to talk about future fights, but I mean, obviously, you had Kane win in unbelievable fashion tonight, and Junior, you know, looked very good. I mean, it's hard to see who's going to beat uh, beat Junior uh, other than maybe Kane. Now, what do you think about making that fight again? And do you see that uh, you know is is the most likely next fight? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I like it. Okay, so let's start talking time frame. <laughs> that I don't know. But yeah, we, we like that fight. You know, Kane went undefeated um, for a long time, lost to Junior. They both, he defends the title, he wins. I like the fight. Let's see what happens. Question for Roy, uh, right in front of Roy. First of all, I don't know if what your comment about the uh, uh, Carl's Jr. there, was it a sponsorship bid or uh, what were you doing? No, I'm just hungry. <laughs> That was a, that was an impressive uh, impressive right hand, but I don't think that's exactly kind of what Jeff Mayweather was probably teaching you, was he? That was exactly what he was teaching. Uh, my plan was to actually actually grapple and um, just take it a little bit slow. I got 15 minutes to work, and it, I saw a push jab, and then I was like, oh, I can come right over the top, and then I threw it three punches, and then two of them was up here, and one was down there. Just one, and also you being one of the few guys, maybe the only guy I can't remember that went a long time with uh, Junior. You know, what is it like being in there with him? And you know, it seemed like you know, a lot of people talked about he had speed and punching accuracy, but you didn't hear a lot of people talking about his power. But I think you know, maybe tonight after what they said, his power would come into play. What do you, what do you take? You've been in there with him, and you know, you know what Frank was up against tonight. Um, I think uh, when everybody asked, you know, who's going to win that fight, I said JD is hands down. Um, I think it's. You know, I, I, the way I look at it is, there's only one guy that's actually, you know, gave you know Junior a run for his money, where you know he was afraid to get hit, and that was with me. Um, but you know, I'm up for whatever, so who cares? What, what was your take, by the way, on on you know that question? You know, Junior seemed like a lot of people said he had great speed, great technical boxing. But you never heard a lot of people talking about his power. But it seemed like he was really, you know, he does though. Yeah, he power. Made, he's, hurt he's, Frank. He's, I think he knocked everybody out, but Roy. Yeah. And he was really hurting Frank with those shots tonight. It didn't seem like he was throwing, you know, like Roy did, you know. He's, he's, got, he's got power, speed, good takedown defense. You know, he, he's, uh, he's got it. Yeah, I just said it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I was tweeting the game. Uh, I hear you. Dana, that was kind of the non-committal committal, though. Can we get a firm answer that that is the next fight? <laughs> I like that fight. I like That's that smart. fight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Kane deserves the, the, the next fight. You know, that, 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 come on, you guys want me to play out the venue, the time. That'd be great. No yeah. 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 no idea. Well, Kane, let's talk about that on the idea that it looks like uh, this is probably going to be the next fight for you. How does that make you feel? Talk about you know the performance tonight. How it feels to know that it looks like you're going to get another title shot next? Uh, it feels great, you know. Um, I mean, the, the whole reason why I got into the sport is to be the champ, you know, and um, I just don't feel right right now, you know, with with, with not having that. So. Obviously, a great performance tonight. Uh, what was the key to it? Uh, were, were, first of all, were you shocked that the, the kick came in early and you were able to get the fight to the ground so quick? What was the key overall? You know, no, um, you know, with uh, with him fighting Daniel and uh, and uh, and Mike Howe, um, he, he's kicked early a couple times, uh, and uh, we just said, you know, if he does kick it right away, then you know, I'll obviously catch it, take him down, and um, you know, that's what he, that's what he did. You know, he kicked and yeah, that's what he did. And a lot of people said that going into the last fight, it wasn't really you. You know, there was an injury, 
they don't think that was the real fight, you know, that, that you would put out there. Is there anything to that? I know you don't like to make excuses, but, you know, do, how do you see a second fight going? Um, you know, definitely did m much better on my part. And uh, I guess I want to Frank out here. Obviously, Frank, thank you for, for stopping by. Uh, obviously, a tough fight for you tonight. Uh, can you talk about how the fight played out versus your expectations? Obviously, you looked for the takedown very early, but then really didn't go for it again after that. Was it just because of the difficulty, or how, how did things play out for you? Uh, no, I wanted to get the takedown early. I, I thought that it would catch me by surprise. When it didn't work, I thought I would have to go ahead and just try to. Uh, he defended it so well that I just wanted to wait a little bit longer in the fight, uh, see if I could get him to forget about it. I didn't want it to be fresh on his mind. Um, uh, you know, his footwork was awesome. Uh, that's the thing I think I have the hardest time with. Uh, most guys my size don't bounce in and out like that. And so uh, even though I sparred with smaller guys, you know, Hardy and stuff, to simulate the hand speed, I guess I should have had them jumping in and out more to try to simulate that aspect of it. But uh, it was something that, you know, uh, James, or, you know, Giffy told me coming up to, you know, hey, he's probably going to, you know, not be the in-your-face fighter we thought he was going to be. He's probably going to throw a punch, jump back out, and just use his foot speed. Knowing what to do and then being able to do it are two different things, though. Fair enough. And I guess just ask one question of the champ as well, Junior. Obviously, congratulations on your win tonight. Uh, can you talk about how the fight played out versus your expectations? You actually called yesterday that it was going to be a knockout in the second round. It seemed that you were very, very patient. What was the game plan, and how did it play out versus your expectations? Well, my, my game plan is always to keep uh, fighting on my feet, you know, and looking for the knockout. And uh, Frank Mir is a very dangerous fighter, you know, especially when he... He take you down, and he tried to do that, and I, I tried to make him a little bit more tired in the first round, and I came to, uh, to the second round to, to knock him out. That was my strategy, and that worked. Thank God for that. Dana, a lot's been made of uh, Dan Hardy's run. You know, he's had a tough time in those last few fights. Uh, tell us, you know, kind of why you, you stuck with him, and even tonight, you uh, you know, you tweeted, you know, after his victory, kind of what you thought of his performance tonight. Yeah, he looked good. He went in against the guy. You know, we knew what was going to happen in this fight. These guys were both going to stand, and uh, and, and, and they were going to bang. And, and he, won. he looked great. You know, Dan Hardy is one of those guys that, that, that brings it. We like guys who fight. This kid fights. He, he's excited about fighting. He's uh, he, he's a fun guy, and he's a fun fighter. We like him. So. And Stephen, like that, you, you know, you uh, you were prepared for for Mark Hunt, and you know, just last week the injury put Hunt out of the fight. Uh, tell us kind of how your uh, your game plan changed uh, when you got Lavar Johnson. Well, you know, they're they're both heavy end strikers, so there wasn't an awful lot to change. You know, I knew that, you know, the moment I was getting to the ground, the fight would be pretty much over. You know, so uh, you know, we we made a couple small changes to the game plan, and you know, we knew there was two things he could do: let me come at him and try to come with wild haymakers. Or come at me like he did and try to do the same thing he did last two fights. So he did it, and when I got, I got a hold of the arm, I just, you know, it came up in my head that the way I was holding it, I, I, I trained it actually, you know, a couple of weeks ago, the flying arm bar. I wanted to jump straight into it, but you know, got a little later. So. Alex Kula with the MMA Nation Studio MMA. Quick first question for you, Dan. Um, was the game plan to stand and bang with the Dwayne Ludwig? Was it just so you caught him? And then that was it, or was there a backup plan then? Um, to be honest, I was kind of, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to show the rest of my game tonight. Um, I've been working real hard on, on ramping down my game and, you know, being dangerous everywhere it goes. So, uh, um, you know, I, I knew that Dwayne was a, was a, a, a kickboxer and I know that he was going to come in and, and try and use that, uh, that ability. So, you know, I, I found a few things in his game that I thought I could exploit. One of them being his, uh, his counter right hand. Uh, which I, I, I pulled with the fake, I, you know, I threw a fake and got him to bring that away from his chin a little bit and then crept a, a left hook around the side and, you know, it, it landed tonight. You know, if it hadn't have done, you know, I might have worked with something else and, uh, you know, I had a lot of tools in the bag that I wanted to try out and, uh, unfortunately, the left hook stole the show again. And for Kane, uh, one, did you get a chance to see the, the main event and, and so if you have any comments on what you saw? Yeah, you know, uh, those answers look, you know, he looked good. Uh, you know, his hands are always good. Uh, his movement, you know, in and out, being quick, uh, taking on defense is, is, is good. I mean, this is how, always how he looks. And lastly, for Junior, um, you predicted a second round knockout. One, was it really something that you thought was going to happen? Or was it, um, and if so, if it was something in his game that you saw that would make that prediction? 
you know, that was my strategy for the fight, you know, that what I what I was thinking to for the fight, you know. Uh, I thought he, he was he, he came, came for the fight to, to pick me down, you know. And I in the first round I, I was trying to keep uh, the, my distance, you know, and make him tired, like I said. And the second round, I, uh, my plan was to walk a little bit more forward than the first, you know. And I don't know that that was that that works, you know. And I think uh, when you believe so much in your performance, in yourself, things happen, you know. That's why I'm so positive in my in what I think. First question is for Dana. Dana, did you ever see or heard so many Brazilians here in Vegas? What you, what you think about this? To me, it sounds like sometimes it sounds like you have seen in Rio. Yeah, no, it seemed like there were a lot of Brazilians. There were a lot of Mexicans here tonight. Uh, the, it was a great card, a great uh, crowd tonight. A lot of energy. The party got a huge pop. The country got a huge pop. I mean, everybody, the people were going crazy. Now. It, was, it was a really good crowd. What you, after, after this, what do you expect for Anderson against Sony? What do I expect for what? Anderson against Sony. After this cheer, uh, Brazilian guys, what yeah. do you expect for Anderson against Sony here? Well, what, how do I think it's going to be? Yes. Uh, I think it's going to be crazy. I think that's going. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of Brazilians that will travel for that fight, and I think that uh, yeah, that's going to be a good one. Right. Just one little question in Portuguese for Cigano. Uh, Cigano. Uh, é na mesma linha, você se surpreendeu com a quantidade de brasileiros, você conseguiu ouvir ali de dentro do octógono quantos brasileiros, a, a vibração dos brasileiros e o quanto isso te ajudou uh, nessa luta? Say what you said first and then... Ok, I ask it to him if, uh, if, if he was surprised with so many Brazilians and if he, he can hurt the Brazilian guys to okay. him. É, me surpreendeu bastante sim a quantidade de brasileiro que estava aqui me, deu, me, me fez muito feliz também ver muitas brasi bandeiras brasileiras no meio da galera toda lá então foi foi muito muito importante para mim me fez feliz que o pessoal veio para me assistir muitos falaram que vieram, vieram só para minha luta então eu fiquei muito feliz por isso yeah, it was fantastic for me to see, you know, the, the seeing all of the Brazilian flags and all of the Brazilian people in the crowd made me so proud and so energized and every time I looked up and I, I could definitely hear them, I could see the flags and I've been running into a lot of people this week in the hotel who said, you know, they came here specifically to watch me fight and they were cheering for me and they stopped me in the hallways and wished me luck. So it was just such a really great positive vibe and I'm, I'm very proud to be here representing uh, everybody from Brazil and I thank them for their support. Uh, Mr. White, uh, with uh, Dan Hardy's victory, does that uh, punch his ticket to be a uh, coach for the Ultimate Fighter in his smashes? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dana in the back over here. A lot of people were very surprised to see Brock Lesnar. He wasn't a guy who would uh, come to fights when he was a member yeah, of the UFC. Right, right? What was he doing here? Uh, <laughs> Apparently now he's a big fan. Is there anything more to that? Yeah. <laughs> anything that you'd like to share? No. <laughs> he was there, here. I mean, I think that says it all. Is there a chance that he may come back? Possibly, yeah. So you've talked to him about this? No. <laughs> You're just hoping that he'll come back? When I do, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, for Junior, uh, obviously there was supposed to be a, a very big uh, stadium show. It didn't work out because of the UN conference. Do you think that you're at a point now with your popularity, based on the fans that came all the way here and what you see back home, that maybe you and, and Kane can headline a, a stadium show in Brazil? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's uh, uh, I can uh, I think that can happen in Brazil. You know, uh, we make a, we make a, our fight in a stadium and. For sure, the Brazilian people is gonna make this stadium, this stadium full for to watch our fight. And I don't know who's, who, who UFC wants to put my for my next opponent, but I think it's gonna be Velasquez. <laughs>